Okay, now what we have here is an inclined plane. So we're no longer on a horizontal surface. So how do things change? Well, we have a wagon being pulled up an incline with 130 newtons of force. And it's our job to figure out what the acceleration would be. We'll have a classification here of a no friction situation. There is friction about the axle, but we'll ignore it. So we'll just say no friction. Now what we notice is that gravity, which again is straight down, force gravity, is not in the same direction as our force normal. Remember, normal force means perpendicular to the surface. And we see that the gravity component here is being broken into x and y components. We're going to call this one force gravity x, and we'll call this one force gravity y. Now how do we get this? Well, normally our x's and y's are, this is our y, this is our x. But what we've done now is we've rotated so that x is along the incline, and of course y is perpendicular. So we rotate our xy grid along with the incline. That allows us to have a 22 degree angle here, which matches the 22 degree angle of the incline. Let's write what each of these should equal then. Force gravity y then is the adjacent side of this triangle, and the hypotenuse is force gravity. So the adjacent side is found by using cosine. Force gravity y then should be force gravity times the cosine of the angle theta. Force gravity x then is the opposite side, and again this is our hypotenuse. So the opposite side is found by using the sine. Force gravity x equals force gravity times the sine of theta. And here we see a case where gravity is broken into x's and y's, but the cosine gives us the y and the sine gives us the x. So it's opposite what we normally do. Now because there's no friction then, we don't have to consider what the normal force is. However, we can see that the force normal and the force gravity y should then be equal to each other. This is our Newton's third law pair. And we see that it's only a component of gravity that normal force is equal to. So what would our net force equation be for an incline with no friction? Well, we're going to ask ourselves, well, we're pulling this up an incline, there must be a force opposing it. In this case, it's the force parallel to the incline of gravity, which is force gravity x. I will draw that arrow here. So this is force gravity x. We do have a triangle underneath our object for clarity's sake, but indeed these forces are acting on the object. Force gravity y pulls this down onto the incline. Force gravity x pulls it down the actual incline. And one more time, our 130 newton force is our force applied. So what would our net force equation be? Well, force net is going to equal force applied minus force gravity x. So let's get some values for this. Well, in force net, we will put 25A, our force applied, equals 130 minus our force gravity x. Well, force gravity is always mass times acceleration. So I'll put 25 times 9.8. Our acceleration of gravity is 9.8. So what's our difference? Well, all we need to do is add the sine of the angle. So sine of 22 degrees. And then we can find our acceleration. So the only additional thing, if there's no friction, is the sine of the angle theta. So our answer for this is the acceleration is equal to 1.5 meters per second squared of the incline because of the applied force. Put that too.